Dr. Elias Kembler, who organized this event. Yuval Eitan, son of Rafi Eitan, which founded and initiated this whole event, and my dear friend. And all our honored guests, especially, I understand there's a big delegation from Italy, headed by uh, our dear uh, friend, uh, Professor uh, um, uh, uh, no, I don't know, uh, Aaron, he, for me it's Aaron, for you it's, uh, what's the name Aaron? How is the name in English? Uh, Aaron Meirov. Aaron and you call it Enrico, Enrico, this was Enrico. Okay. Uh, Enrico Meirov, uh, head of the uh, um, Friend of Israel, the new guy. Uh, actually, I know Rafi Etan many years, but in the last few years, we became uh, very close, and uh, which was a big honor and pleasure for me. We were together in some political actions in Europe, uh, getting, trying to get new friends for Israel from all <coughs> sides of all sides of the political map, and. Uh, uh, Rafi, uh, you heard his biography or parts of it. They missed some some achievements, but if you want to speak about what uh, uh, Rafi has done, uh, I guess you will have to have a special seminar for it, and it won't be enough. Uh, one who read his book uh, knows uh, he was a unique person, and uh, Ilya in his um, introduction uh, mentioned that we are in some turmoil. Uh, here in Israel, and when I say some turmoil, it's an understatement. So I miss uh, Rafi since uh, 2019, the year he passed away, and from time to time I, 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 I think why I don't have Rafi to consult or an advice. And uh, now more, but now I guess his advice is needed not for me, it's needed for the country more than ever before, because it would have been a unique one, and the original one, and um, looking from above, and seeing the whole picture, and not only the details, which was one of the, uh, Rafi's uh, qualities, that he was a man of details, but at the same time, he saw the whole picture. Uh, Rafi served only in the um, defense uh, uh, institutions of Israel 46 years. And he was the only man who was the head of operation of both the Mossad and the Shin Bet. Mossad is a counterintelligence, uh, it's um, espionage, and uh, uh, Shin Bet is a counterintelligence. And he was the head of operation of both. And certain time he was a, a coordinator, and then he was heading a third organization, which was a, expertizing in, in, in science at a very a late a stage. Uh, and um, uh, when he resigned, he worked for uh, as advisor. All 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 um, in, in, uh, intelligence organizations in the world were seeking his advice. And the, the M MI6, the British, when they were fighting the, uh, the rebellions, uh, Irish rebellions, uh, he worked as their uh, advisor. And when I was with him abroad, everybody, you know, when I, they heard that Rafi Etan uh, is coming for them in Austria, I was with him twice. So the whole room came, all, all journalists from all Austria came and asked him about the Eichmann and about all uh, uh, other operations, they know that he uh, made, and it's tell to, the, to Rafi that many Germans didn't come here to Israel after the war, for example. He was injured twice during his service. Once uh, uh, in, uh, when it was an immigration operation, where he was uh, uh, st uh, stepping on a mine, or a car was going near a bombardment of a mine, where he lost his uh, listening, he was, became deaf. And all his life he was using very strong uh, uh, tools in the ears to hear better. 
and this uh, en enabled him, by the way, to close it when he didn't want to hear and open it when it was necessary. Uh, and uh, when um, and the second time he was injured in a military operation where he was head of the first regiment of Iftah, which was a glorious uh, uh, fighting the unit of the Palmach. Uh, he was injured very severely in both legs and got uh, um, no, what is it? Uh, um, Strapness in all all over his body, and yet he uh, and yet he uh, was able uh, to call. And he came immediately in the same war. He insisted on coming back and fight fought some uh, more uh, battles. And uh, now uh, there is no intelligence uh, uh, a book, a serious intelligent books that, that didn't get an inspiration of some operations where Iraqi was part of. And when I read it, or somebody tells me uh, what is the plot of a certain book, I say, ah, this they took uh, from, uh, from Rafi Etan. This was a man that when he came to politics, established a party, out of nothing. He was able to get seven seats, became a minister in Neod Olmert's uh, uh, government. He was the one who made breakthroughs in the fight, and this wasn't mentioned, if I didn't miss it, uh, in the fight for re uh, uh, ret returning uh, the Jewish uh, property uh, to Israel. Actually, when I came close to him, was on this basis, because when I was chairman of the Immigration Committee of the Knesset, I was, and then in the Finance Committee, I worked very hard on this uh, issue of Jewish property. When Rafi became a minister, after I wasn't uh, on any more in those positions, he asked me, by the way, to be the Director General, then to work out, but I, I, he was the one who took the flag, and he was the one that uh, enabled us to make agreements with many European countries, many European countries, uh, to uh, give back Jewish property that was stolen uh, during World War II. And, that one, and before he passed away, he was very much still involved with Gila Gamliel, who became a minister of the ministry he established to uh, solve the Polish problem which is the most important one. And when he passed away, people started to quarrel with them instead of uh, now, <laughs> but it was now renewed uh, with, um, with the government, now with Eli Cohen when he was in Poland, our foreign minister, but I don't think that uh, uh, the issue of, uh, of the property, of the Jewish property in Poland can be sold. Anyway, uh, as I said, uh, Rafi was one and unique, uh, and he was always defying, challenging the world mission impossible. Because he wanted uh, to prove all his life uh, that you should uh, take out the, uh, the word mission impossible from the dictionary. Because for Rafi, almost every mission he believed so is possible. One of them was a mission of prolonging life. Uh, he passed away at the age of uh, uh, 96, and uh, he was born in 23, and for a stupid disease, uh, I hope that he will last much more. He had uh, the energy, the, the ability, until his uh, last day. I know I remember the last meeting when I went with Rafi to see Netanyahu on some political issues, so we spoke, uh, um, Rafi mentioned the uh, prolonging of life, and uh, so the, uh, <laughs> Netanyahu since then was speaking until the end of the meeting only about this. It's, uh, it's an issue that uh, I don't know why, but people are interested in this issue. They do, do nothing about it, but, uh, but they are interested. Uh, like many things that are in consensus, uh, and, and this is a problem, when I uh, was the head of the immigration committee and I tried to to raise the public interest in the issue of immigration, it was very hard. Newspaper journalists were not so much interested in positive stories about a Jewish immigration to Israel. And I asked somebody who was a very uh, shrewd and experienced politician, and he said, you must make it controversial. If it will be a controversial issue, then it will work. Then people will show interest. If it's not controversial, if it's a consensus, nobody's interested. So maybe this is uh, one of your problem. I know when I spoke with Rafi about it, he spoke about prolonging life. 
He didn't go into the question what kind of life, what quality of life. I don't know. That, uh, I guess there are many, many schools at this. Uh, I am in the school that uh, uh, says that even if people are not so able and if some lose some abilities, uh, still uh, they uh, enjoy the life. Everybody, even if he is a little demented or, or, or dis uh, disabled, he enjoys a new smell. He enjoys and has, feels joy when he sees a flower. He feels joy when he may meet a familiar face. He feels joy when he takes a, a, a shower and more and more uh, and he eats more and more and more. So uh, life is holy and you have to you have to try to be healthy. It's not, uh, it's not bad to be healthy. Uh, as long as you don't uh, uh, keep all your life uh, trying to be healthy and, and having no time to enjoy the health. This is something you must be uh, careful about. Uh, so I, I believe that really uh, to be here is a, 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 when I tell you that, uh, I, a, that I wish you success, I do it from all my heart. And this is one issue that I know that when I speak, I represent the whole humanity. All humanity stands behind me when I, when I wish you a success, a good deliberation, and a success in having longer life and better life. Thank you.